hello. I got these pictures sent to me from Dallas today. Cold weather. We're just not built for it. I also have um, a picture of our water meter, and that's what a water meter in the ground should not look like. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Well, we're hanging in there in Houston, Texas. Uh, <sighs> historic times. <laughs> Yeah, not so fun to live through. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so we have this major 122-year storm, um, you know, the winter version of Harvey. And um, it's been freezing um, below zero. Uh, well, you know, freezing line. So it's not, I think, below zero Celsius, not actual Fahrenheit. We've been in the um, teens. I think we got to eight degrees uh, Fahrenheit at one point. Uh, we were negative one Celsius when I woke up this morning. Uh, just, it's been something. So I we do have our lights on right now. Um, how long that'll last, I'm not sure. You know, it's, there's no, um, like, Xfinity um, is and AT&T are not um, functioning right now. So internet and most television and home phones are down. Um, it's spooky that way. Uh, so yesterday we got the lights on and, um, you know, think to take the baths. I filled some buckets just in case you never know. Um, a storm in Texas, fill buckets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, it's useful. Um, but, um, going around, you know, got my daughter, does that, we're talking, um, had, had an, uh, appointment and, um, had a neighbor knock on, ring the doorbell and my sweet neighbor across the street told me there was water rushing down our driveway. Um, <laughs> I had, um, just been in the garage maybe 20 minutes before and, um, I got a peach tree for Valentine's Day, which I absolutely love. Um, it's getting its cold hours. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, and it's nice to find a peach tree that'll grow here. But I um, decided, you know, well, it probably needs water. It's in a container. So I just got a little bit of snow um, from the backyard and sprinkled it on it. And um, keeping it from the little branches getting too frozen. So there was no sound of water at that time, but went, opened the garage, and oh, lo and behold, at the bottom of the wall, there was a gush of water. So, um, you know, we have, as you can see, water meters that are in ground. It's really nice when people don't steal the bags of soil. Um, well, they might just think they're being left at the curb, but it's actually covering the water meters. Um, anyways, our, um, my husband, I, I couldn't, it takes more strength with pliers. So my husband doesn't work far. So thank goodness he came off and, uh, one of his friends from work came over. So they cut the drywall and, uh, it looks like it was leaking from a C PVC, um, pipe, um, at a, like one of those little T joints. So it cracked. So I guess that probably froze. But, you know, the inside of a wall in a garage that's unheated uh, or an, an, uh, does not have AC. But it, we have a brick um, exterior. I'm not sure what type it is. So, but there wasn't any insulation. I know with brick you have to be careful. But it's just like, oh my goodness. You know, you can get, you can drip the pipes. You can do what you need to do. You can, you can't help it if you can't keep things warm when there's not electricity. But, um, I don't know. So got that, you know, had, before he came home, I filled up the bathtubs. Um, <laughs> uh, and you know, so we're without water. And because it is, has been freezing weather, um, the plumbers, you know, fixes can't happen until it warms up a little bit. So I don't know. Other than that, I mean, it's just, we went and, um, to go get, um, uh, more fluids from the grocery stores and um, Kroger's was closed. It's a grocery store here in uh, the States. And we were able to go to a local grocery store called HEB. And I was the last person allowed in. Um, <laughs> amazing how you can get the energy and you can get everything you need when you actually have an emergency going on. 
So I went and um, got um, some Gatorade and other things. I didn't have any water left, um, so I got coconut water. You know, um, you know, I'll drink soda too, and baby wipes. You know, I remember in the beginning of the pandemic when baby wipes were so hard. My sister has a um, one-year-old. So it's just like, I hate, you know, I hate grabbing baby wipes for that because what if babies need them? <laughs> but for um, cleanliness, yeah, we have them. Oh, joy. So it's like, you know, uh, we're having more issues in with having electricity in our grid problems. I mean, us in Utah. Not, I'm sorry, not, not Utah, but um, Oregon. Forgive me. Sorry for anybody in Utah. And I hope you stay warm and... Um, Oregon but you know we had ooh, probably about 24 hours without electricity for a period of time and it gets really cold I mean you know um, on Valentine's Day um, you know you just plan that you know it's, it's hard when you have lots of hopes you have to take day by day but I was shown a lot of love I just had a lot of pain so I'm not sure sure if it's um, you know, freezing weather, you know, under 32 degrees Fahrenheit, do you have more pain? I was having a lot of bone pain in my hips and my thighs, you know, it's my femurs. And it's like I wanted to divorce my legs. <laughs> I had a, uh, I was doing stretches, which sometimes if you like overdo a joint, that can be helpful. Um, and I ended up setting on my right leg, which is my good leg, I set off a Charlie horse. And um, it didn't hurt as bad as my bones were hurting. So that took about two and a half days to ease off. I mean, now I'm just having like my right shoulder, but I have a good old nursing story for that one. <laughs> um, I don't know. I reached out to my doctors and didn't get a response, which, you know, people don't have electricity. Um, internet is down. Um, you know, you know, people can't get out of their houses. You know, it's, you know, a difficult thing. Well, I mean, it's kind of being afraid because I can't, I can tell you, um, over 50 of my neighbors had pipes burst. Um, you know, our infrastructure is just, is not built for this. You know, my sister had, um, the one that lives in this area had their sprinkler system, you know, burst, but they were able to cap it off. You know, just anything. You know, it's like, okay, I had had a lot prepared, but I'm um, doubly glad that I did some of the preparations because um, the main water um, line to my house and my neighbor's house is, um, uh, looks like it burst. <laughs> you know, we heard that loud groan probably about maybe 30 minutes it could have been another 20 minutes um i'm just there right after it happens right before it happens uh we heard a groan in the house and my husband went to investigate it and he's like asked me if i had all the faucets open and they are all on in and in, inside even the refrigerator you know it's like if you're freezing and you have water in the ice you know it's like i was worried about that ice line in the fridge so got that and, um, so I went off and, you know, I had seen something on our neighborhood site, um, about someone stealing the, um, potting soil at the curb, which, you know, I mean, people put things at the curb if you want to pick up, but, you know, taking the soil, potting soil off a water meter. I mean, if you pick that up and see that you probably, I mean, I would never, you know, so I thought, Oh, maybe I should go check on that, you know, grab some things and, um, an aluminum pan with some, shop towels and stuff like that and some paper towels. I was going to go out and cover it, make sure it stayed warm. Well, um, too late. Uh, it was bubbling water and the sewer next to it down the street in the sidewalk was bubbling too. So freezing rain and bubbling, um, all while having ALS and navigating the snow and ice. <laughs> so fun, so fun, so fun. So a little bit of sleet. Um, told my husband he called um we have a mud district here which is what um handles our water utilities and our trash 
So um, they're supposed to be sending a service truck, but they haven't shown up yet, and it's been over an hour and a half. Um, I don't know. Warn the neighbors to um, boil water. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny that my neighbors had, uh, their daughter has a car that was parked next to it, and I was looking at it. We're going to get um, below freezing weather again tonight, another hard freeze. It's like, well, it's probably going to turn into black ice. I don't know if she wants to be stuck in that with all this water around her tires. And he came through the garage. Funny enough, um, they had the same break we did. It's the builders. Hmm. Uh, just not built for this. My daughter's school has been canceled for the rest of the week because the schools have water damage from pipes rupturing. Um, and who knows if they're actually going to be able to open if um, there's not internet and um, phone service and even electricity, you know. My other sister has a um, has solar energy and her the company um, called saying they may, may not they may need to look for um, joining another company because they're not going to be able to withstand this um, event. So I don't know. I have a couple friends that from California and they say that this reminds them of what um, happened in California before they raised the rates of electricity. So that's, you know, a cynical thing. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. Well, I don't know. It's just, you know, one thing I am trying to really do is concentrate on the good. I mean, you know, like yesterday, I was the last person to get inside um, H-E-B, got um, drinks, yay, and baby wipes, yay. Um, my husband was able to get some supplies we needed at H -E or at, at, um, his, at um, one of the supply stores, and it was a zoo. So, um, you know, lines <laughs> probably two miles long to get to Whataburger, um, you know, warm food, uh, it's... Something when you don't have water or electricity, you know, can be a hard thing. So there weren't as many people at Denny's. So they weren't taking online orders, you know, we're able to go get that. So yay, Fat Tuesday. You know, today's Ash Sunday. Ash Wednesday, not Sunday. I don't know. I mean, this Lent, I'm not going to worry as much about missing things because, hey, I'd like water. I'll, gi I'll give up water. You know, I don't want to give up electricity. You know, cold hurts with ALS and MND. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. You know, you think about hard things, and then you think about, you know, how lucky you are. You know, I was hurting on Sunday, and I got the beautiful peach tree, chocolate. My eldest daughter um, surprised us by sending us heart-shaped pizzas. How sweet was that? Um, just, Just so much love. You know, my little girl... Um, decided that, uh, you know, she was getting little cashews and wanted to make sure that, you know, I had snacks to feel better. It's so sweet. I don't know. I just need to find, um, a backup plan if I have any pain like that. I don't want to suffer like that. You know, people say, you know, feel your suffer. See why you're suffering. You know, it's like, well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm tired of suffering. I've done enough. You know, I want to um, heal mind, body, soul. Having pain like that is not really conduent to that. You can make you, um, you know, drain you. And it's, you know, going through that was like going through a macabre journey or odyssey into that. It's like, you know, no, thank you. I don't, I don't need any more of that. I don't think any of us do. So, yes. ALS MND hurts, especially if it's negative um, degrees. You know, if it's lower than 32 degrees, everything's going to hurt, even if you don't have ALS. <laughs> so, but, you know, we're warm. Um, we have food. Um, we have Gatorade and soda, coconut water. Um, I do have a Berkey um, water filter thing. It's just, eh, you know... Hopefully we have friends and hotels that um, have water that they don't bite. I mean, you know, I know I have people that I know that went to hotels to get electricity and then that electricity in the hotels went out. <laughs> you, know, <it's, laughs> 
It's something. I mean, my heart goes out to the people in Louisiana that um, have gone through the hurricanes this past summer. And I know there's some people that don't have um, structures, so this cold is definitely a concern. You know, people have um, died from lack of knowledge or mental illness. You know, I mean, you know, a good story. You know, a lot of times people in Texas band together. You know, it's kind of when you're in this wild and willy weather, you know, it's a means of survival, right? Um, one of my friends had um, lives in the Dallas area. My daughter does as well. But it was, it was an area where he um, has a lot of elderly neighbors. And um, he is checking on them. It says that a lot of families don't check on their neighbors as much. Now, whether they have phone service with this weather condition, who knows, you know. But um, he heard a lady crying, um, help. And he was able to find a window that was unlocked. And she had fallen the night before. And they have not had electricity for over um, three days. And they're at, um, you know, um, weather in the single digits. So he was able to call 911, and um, he would, he had saved her before she passed. She probably wouldn't have made it more hours, you know. Um, you just wish you could be there to tell people, no, don't bring the charcoal grill inside. Um, carbon monoxide poisoning is real, you know. I mean, during this, I uh, my father is from South Dakota. So, you know, we always grew up with... Um, sleeping bags, you know, good to, to negative um, 32 degrees, you know, can tell you I was really wishing I had one of those sleeping bags <laughs> on top of um, the little um, wall unit for the um, garage for next year. I mean, it may not happen next year. It may not happen for a long time, but, you know, if we're having these type of pipes and we have brick walls and there's a problem with insulation, um, I'm not having this happen again, you know know the weaknesses, take care of it. So mm, my heart's out to everybody that's going through this cold. And if you're in other parts of the world, um, Southern Hemisphere, I hope that you are staying cool enough. Um, we'll be trading weathers soon enough. <laughs> you know, it's just, I, I can't believe it snowed, what, Monday, Sunday, Monday night? There is still snow and ice on the ground in Houston, Texas. Never, never, never. We haven't seen this. So we're still going to be freezing until Saturday. Um, you know, we froze um, some snowballs. So we will be using those snowballs um, in the freezer. And it's cold enough, even if the ele electricity goes out, they'll still be frozen. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my daughter likes to do, my little one, likes to do tie-dye. And she's been, she's done a couple um, ice tie-dyes. So she's going to use the snowballs that she created and make some tie-dye over it. How fun. So here's hoping that things get back to normal sooner. They will. I mean, how many times can you say this? You know, it's like, how many times can there be things? Yeah, what is the new normal going to be? I don't know. I hope um, across this country... You know, we're going to be, we need to get our infrastructure taken care of in the United States. You know, poor Flint, um, I'm feeling them. You know, we just have to get, you know, electric grids. Um, and hopefully it's not, you know, used as a sneaky way to raise costs. You know, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, heads will be rolling, you know. One thing I have myself, if you are in the United States or whatever country you are in, if you have MND or you have ALS, or if you have a family member that has it, um, ask your doctor or your social worker um, about um, emergency plans. In the state of Texas, we have something called STEER. Of course, that'd be in Texas, right? Uh, you, you can also get letters to electric companies, so you um, will be a priority to um, not have the lights go off um, or for disasters. Now you can never, um, Harvey taught me that, you can never really count on uh, local, state or federal um, governments. You have to have a backup plan yourself. 
and to think about that to make sure you have any of your medications if you have battery charge. Now, I know that if you have a power chair, um, you know, that, that charge only lasts so long. Um, you can, I, I don't know about backup batteries. As a nurse, I know that I had a patient um, that had lived um, through Ike, the hurricane before Harvey, and he had an LVAT, which is a left ventricular assist device to keep his heart pumping. He was waiting for a heart transplant. And um, I asked him, how did you charge the batteries? You know, they have um, adapters that you can use from your car battery to charge things. And that's what he did to get through a um, time of hurricane time that didn't have electricity for two years or two weeks. Um, so if you're going to be and you are a medically uh, vulnerable person, um, you know, I can't say there was anywhere actually in Texas, even into northern Mexico or or anywhere, you know, in the big swath of the middle of the United States that I could have gone, um, you know, and surviving OK here. It's not, you know, knock on wood, knock, 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 um, going to get much worse. Um, but in storms like that, medicines, if you have um, oxygen um, you know, how many tanks do you have? How many hours will that last? If you're in an area that is going to, um, possibly have outages for an extended period of time before a storm hits, definitely talk and, you know, if you have to evacuate for safety, you know, that's definitely something that's a concern. Um, make sure you're registered, make a plan, have a list of your medicines and, um, Look at what ways you can make sure you have what you need to live. And if you can't do that there, it, where you stay, um, find it, you know. Though don't count on being able, if you're in pain, being able to get a hold of the doctor. I don't know. I mean, that's just mean. Um, when things unfreeze, I might be changing doctors. No, it's <laughs> well, you know, I just want to take care of me. You know, I'm lucky. Um, we have lights right now. Um, I have family members calling me so I can, I can charge my phone. So they're telling me, you know, they, they told me a boil water notice. It's like, well, I don't have that problem right now. Uh, I'm one of hundreds of thousands, you know, there's millions of people that don't have lights. You know, I, I, we are very, very lucky. You know, I'm lucky to have people that love me. I'm lucky to have family. And, um, you know, saying prayers for people that have, um, you know, don't have, um, people around. So it, when anything like this happens, you know, check on your neighbor, you know, you know, that um, there's, it, it matters, you know, well, I hope you guys stay safe. And I hope with all the snow in North Texas, people don't have problems with their roofs collapsing. This is not something that happens in Texas. I'm just hoping we don't have the twin hurricane this summer. I may be going somewhere if that happens. <laughs> you know, uh, joy, huh? Well, you guys take care. Um, and this is me without makeup. Yeah, I don't want to have my skin break out if I put makeup on. You know, um, joy. It will be okay. So smile and stay warm. All right. Take care.